Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is another video on Brawl Stars, and today I'm doing Terra. And if you're watching my video for the first time, please feel free to subscribe to my channel after you watch it if you like Brawl Stars. I'm still recovering from the cold that I got. So guys, please take care of your body. Terra is a really balanced and powerful brawler in many ways. Not just the gadget, but also the star powers. They are all useful. What the gadget does is that um, it exposes the enemies in the bush. And her real threat is her super. And there are so many things that I want to share with you guys on Terra. Uh, the first thing I would like to say is that don't save your super because oftentimes I see people they try to like they try to wait for the best chance to use the super but then there's not the best chance because you're not lucky all the time right and also the enemy they're not dumb enough to stick together for you to use the super every single time therefore do not wait all right that's just gonna waste the time and you will lose the opportunity to kill the enemies because I always stress about this a good player will always get the super very soon so there's no point to save your super even if your super only kills one enemy that's still worth it because guess what that means your teammate can go 3 vs 2 now and that gives you the chance to get the, the gems, right? You don't necessarily have to catch all 3 enemies in one super Like I said, if you only catch one enemy, then that's still worth it You have to think about it if you play randomly, you play solo with random people, right? Even if you catch all their enemies in one super, you're not gonna be able to kill them all if you're far away from the enemy, right? Because you need your teammates to support you, to add more damages to the enemy. Therefore, you don't have to try to catch all enemies in one super. As long as you don't miss, that's still worth it even if you only kill one person. Remember that. The second key point is that uh, you should try to hit the enemy face to face using the bush. But I'm not saying that you go straight up to the enemy because you will just get killed. You have to be smart. Use the walls, the barriers, the bush to sneak up to an enemy. And hopefully you can get a kill. If you can't, you still get your super, right? You're not gonna be able to get your super if you don't hit the enemy face to face. It takes more hits to get the super if you just hit the enemy in a very far distance. So as you can see right here, I sneak up to this record without him knowing my my place. You never want the enemy to know where you are, okay? Never expose your location. And after you kill a person, do not stay at the same location. It doesn't work that way. Only if the person is dumb enough. You see how this Daryl does here? He's pretty good at dodging the attack using the environmental factor. But if I were him, I wouldn't go so deep into the enemy's base. It's not worth it. 
and carries more risk. Since I was the um, gym carrier in this match, therefore I won't be playing too aggressive. And guys, you have to decide when you should play aggressive and when you should back down a little bit. If you're the gym carrier, don't risk it. Don't risk all your gems for only two gems from the enemy. It's just not worth it. Oftentimes, I see players, you know, who's carrying nine gems. He risk it to get the last gem. Of course, the enemies won't let him do it. And guess what? He lost all the gems. The next key point is that when you use your super, you don't have to keep the enemy in the center, in the middle of your super. That's not how her super works, okay? The best way is that you try to keep the enemy on the edge of your circle. Make sure they're not out of the circle, they're within your circle, but only on the edge. In this way, the enemies will be pulled in the middle of the circle. And that gives you the time to catch up and do your damage. I made a mistake right there on a super. Because I thought that Terra will just king at me straight, but he did not. Right there, you don't have to worry. Because the gyms are near our base. But you gotta watch out for this, uh, what's the name? 8-bit. Because he can teleport to go past the wall, therefore you should always destroy his turret so that he cannot just teleport here and kill you guys as long as your gems are close to your base you don't have to worry about it okay you see this a bit because I knew what he was going to do therefore I destroy him before he even used his super to escape And guys, please do not be this Jesse. I don't know what's wrong with the person, but like, she sort of just gave up on the games. We're almost winning, seriously. Just have to push them back a little bit. This Jesse literally just AFK for like 30 seconds. That's the worst team you can get. That's everything from me on Terra, guys. If you like my video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you in the next video. Feel free to leave any comments because they are really helpful for me to improve my videos. 